build a multicultural, diverse ministry that can offer a place of refuge from your everyday life struggles. Not only temporary escape from problems, but to build and prepare the people with the solution. Our purpose is to reach the lost, sinner, and backslider, letting them know there is a God who's merciful and just, who sent his only son to die for our sins so that we may be saved. It is our mission to go to all the corners of the earth, teaching and preaching the gospel of Jesus.
from praise and worship tonight. Now it's time that we see what you came here for. And how many know tonight is going to be a wonderful night of receiving great impartation. I cannot tell you how honored I am to have for the first time so far at New Generation Ministries. He's a senior pastor, a founder, a word, a theologian, prophet of his own life, a victorious ministry international. He is a great wisdom. I mean, father of wisdom, a great entrepreneur. God's hand is on him. He oversees many ministries. He has his hands in many businesses. But most of all, he has anointed to bring yours. Can you help me give God great shots of praise? Can you see the pastor of God in the Pastor Tony Smith, you see that? Come on, let's give God a big amen. Come on, y'all can give that man. Hey, he's got a seat. He was doing all the talking. I'm a little past the ass. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. It's so good to be here. Such an awesome atmosphere that was set. But before we get into moving forward under the anointing, we have to um, deal with some business. Amen. You got to give honor where honor is due. I'm straight in and I recognize it. The priest of this house will be ignorant. Come on, let's put our hands together for the bishop. The Lord is in the house. He got for his life. He got for every, every, every joint, every unit that's here. We give our prayers. Y'all gonna have an incredible time this week. We've got some major, some major impartations coming. Tomorrow and of course the next day, yeah, everything balanced. Um, the father, the, the teacher, everything that's lined up. Um, um, uh, Bishop Kenneth Roberts is coming in. He's a man of wealth, part direction, and push you to some purpose of that uh, you never ever imagined before. The problem with the traditional church is that we, um, we had the anointing of God, but we stayed broke. Now, this is the challenge. The challenge was that we both needed each other. And the word of faith came with the, the understanding of the word and the prosperity. And the, the traditional church wouldn't respect it, even though it needed it. Because, wait a minute, because the word of, first, word of faith organizations wouldn't respect the traditional church. We have to learn to respect each and every one of our gifts for us to be here. That's what the biggest challenge was, is that it wasn't that what the word of faith brought, we, the traditional church didn't need. Yeah. It was that the word of faith wouldn't respect what we had. Right. In order to go forward, we have to learn to respect what people have. Right. Don't never get so great and big that you forget that what people have, they need it, even if they don't want it. That's right. That's right. And if we will follow everything someone told us to do, and the dimensions of ministry, then there will be a lot of things in the body or in the kingdom or in the world that will be not taken care of because God didn't give one person everything. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So we got to, we got to, we got to, I think that's one of the great assignments that God is doing to the body of Christ um, because, because of this, the, you know, the, see, the word of faith was not a ministry, it was a movement. It was supposed to add to the ministry. But because it was such, we were so offended by it. Um, we, we, we rejected them because they rejected what we had. I say we because I came and raised in church all my life. And I was I was blessed to be, to have the experience to understand both. Amen. And when you understand both, you can be successful. Because you're there to supply all. Amen. So, so. To this week, y'all, y'all really well balanced. I still don't know how I got here, but y'all really, really well balanced. 
Christ um, and what God is bringing to the house. Amen. And remember this, that no one will come with something new. They will only sprinkle something that's already existing. So don't be leaving here thinking that these guest speakers are better than the house speaker. I can't get no help from nobody. Nobody, because at the end of the day, these guest speakers are going to their homes. They're not going to the hospital with you. They're not going to pray for your family. They're not going to hold your mess. So, you know, I just thank God for y'all allowing me to be here. And, and, and I think like, thank God for the disco lights y'all had on. I just felt like, well, that had no feeling anything. First lady was singing, she was feeling it. And all of a sudden, the hours she had her eyes open, but she kept that thing and she said, <laughs> Let's go to the next thing. Let's close that thing. Amen. Y'all thought she was fixing her hair. She wasn't fixing her hair. She wouldn't let anybody know hey. You can always know she wasn't fixing her hair. She was doing it on the park side. Doing it on the park side. She did that shit. So we just really can't know what she's doing. And 10 years is no joke, y'all. It is, it's no joke. Um, it comes with something. It comes with something. Um, so I, I'm not here today. I'm on an assignment. I'm, not, I'm really I'm on an assignment. Um, I love to teach. I love to teach. I try to do a little preaching. And I end up teaching right in the middle of it. But I'm on an assignment. I'm not here to teach because you have a lot of teachers coming this week. A lot of your teachers. And Victor, you know, the tourist minister, if you want to come by now, and be blessed by this man and good men of God are coming this week. Just come on by and be blessed by them. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of good teaching going to come this week. You'll be a dummy to stay home and look at team this week. <laughs> you might miss a class, but you're supposed to miss a lecture. So, so, um, so I'm not here to teach. Man, as I like to, if I start teaching, Somebody say, how I preach. I just know I messed up. I didn't come back. Yeah. But I love to teach. I love to teach. I love to empower people. And one thing about empowering people, before you can empower a person, this is the hard part. Because people love to be empowered. But before you can empower a person, you must break a person. And that's the part that makes people don't stay in church long. Because they don't like to be broken. They have a diction, they want to hug, they don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to be rebuked. They don't want to be broken, they just want to be hugged. So you're going to have all that. Uh, my assignment is different. My assignment, you freed me, right? My assignment is to expose. But let's, let's get the record straight with all speaking in time and everything like that. We're going to talk about fornication and stuff like that. We don't need to expose what you already know is wrong. We need to expose that 10 years is no joke. Y'all looking all comfortable and smiling, but it was not an easy ride. I'm preaching already. So look, you see me right now. Y'all record and say we're going to cap for car pants. I don't care. You think I ain't signing the waiver, so you're going to pay me for it. I'm just joking. Um, um, I want you to understand that the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to me this afternoon concerning this, this ministry. And not only this ministry, but this, this the, the, everybody that's in here, even those that are here visiting, um, give honor to. The pastor, the woman of God, amen. The Lord, amen. <laughs> Ten years is, is, is no joke. Um, but my title of the day is You Were Built For It. All right. Look at your name and say, I was built for it. I was built for it. Now, let's get the record straight. You didn't like it. You, know, you thought that when they called you to this church or called you to pastor, you thought that there would be a parade. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there would be trumpets. You didn't know that people would join that you would choose not to like. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and you had to, you had to, you didn't know that the church, if you don't be careful, 
can be like the city, the east side and the west side. I can't get enough from nobody. You know what I'm talking about? When you speak to them, but you really inside don't even want to see them. Come on, church. You were built for this. And there's no way in the world you get this far and quit. There's no way in the world you get this far and let somebody get on your nerves and make you lose your praise and lose your worship. I'm 
want you to understand that, that um, the season is over, that the pastor has to be godly nice. The transition from pastor is now shifting to father. And the father sometimes has to correct. Wait a minute. Thank you. 
but you have not applied it to your personal life. This is being confident of this birthday. Yes. That he. Come on, say That what? The God. The what? The Lord has to talk to because there are some things going in the body of Christ that's not good. Right. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. We just talking. But there are some things in the body of Christ. That's not good. So there's some things in the body of Christ that's not good. Then there's some things in the kingdom in Baltimore that's not good. Which means there's some good things in victory. Ministry that's not good. So if it's not good in my church, it's not good in New Jack City. Right? <laughs> because if it's not good, it means he has not begun. You brought it in. You did not bring your servanthood. You brought your idea. And have the audacity to say, I feel this in my spirit about other people. says love Talking in this 
shit you got on your face. Don't you tell me. You ain't looking for a new year.
You were built for. Come on, first lady. You might be close to it. You might even have the ear of it. But the man didn't come with your marriage. The man will come from God. And if you ever think you can control the man, I don't want to be celebrated. You know, this is my challenge. 
I don't like people to be forced to celebrate. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. Instead of somebody saying, y'all don't need to do, y'all, I hate that. Yeah. It's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. Because I can't, I'm not going to train my people to listen, to not be sensitive to celebrate a gift. Yeah. Right. Because when the king comes, you be like this. Does he know what? Or should we look for another? That's come from how we train you. Respect the presence, mm -hmm. you can't expect the awesomeness of your next life. Yes. 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 I'm not delaying your deliverance, you are. Yes. Because before you can pass the first grade, you have to pass the kindergarten. Yes. Even though you have first grade knowledge, yes. you're old enough to be in the first grade, you have to pass the kindergarten. Yes. Kindergarten teach you nothing but social skills. Yes. You are a kindergarten church. Because we don't know how to socialize. You know, in the kindergarten, they say, This is my Bible. <laughs> Can I mean, no, it's my Bible. That's how y'all treat them seats in the sanctuary. Who's the oldest? You the oldest? Then who's next? Hold, hold on, you tell me. I know you're on your own right now. Yeah, yeah. No, don't tell me. I can hear you. Twelve. That's what you need. Hold on. Ten. Hold on. Seven. Hold on. You don't even know how old you are. I know. That's your father. Hold on. Four. Hold on. Eleven. Hold on. Twelve. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because you got a problem with it. Right. Oh. 
He's saying you better learn how to work with them. Let him teach you how to work with people. Submit with them. Release your power and work with them. We have been wounded so much that when care comes, we fight care. We have been doctoring so much that all we know is the word love. We don't know the action. That's why we can lift our offering and get nothing. No, I'm saying nothing. Because the giving to God is not more valuable than having gas in your car. Mm. Right. But you forgot that when you won't eat, you made it all the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean all the way. And then some running over time and the E still prophesied L. So God is doing this big crazy transition and he's already started with your pastor because he's a visionary. He's already started with your pastor with this great mindset of multicultural. Your pastor is a consistent because he lives, he doesn't live in the now, he lives in the future. But the problem is, is that sometimes when you live in the future, people will judge you from the now you are in. You could be a homemonger, but in the future you are anointed great woman or man of God, and they will judge you for the man you are in, not the which you And the problem is, is that because we don't respect the gift, we have the ability, as he's saying, he look that way, Pastor, you know, I'm just going to use you for a moment. As he look into the future, every time he steps that forward, we pull him back on top of dealing with the new. I, I learned something. I learned something, Pastor. I learned something. This is what I learned. That you have two sets of eyes. Right. Right. You have two ears. Mm -hmm. You have two nostrils. Um, I look at you for that's an educator. I'm not an educator. I'm straight from the hood. I have a powerful hood anointing. I will mess a word up. <laughs> you have two sets of teeth, top and bottom, right? And your body, left and right. But God is only gay. Because the rest of the other moment he is, I didn't know what I was doing. And it's not that I never had a vision. It's that I never had people trusting me with the vision. So you find yourself in a big yacht by yourself. You ever had a big vision for nobody in? You ever walked around and sold money to people because you have a big vision and look around and say, what's up? Somebody ought to raise a 
to our pastor. I'm going to beat you on this one. Huh? Excuse me, wait, let me talk to you over here. Uh, I'm going to pay for all 35 people. Jesus, he cut out my shot. I didn't know what to shoot you. All 35, I'm going to pay for them. And, and then let's, let's bring my receipt back and sit down. And pastor said, okay, let's go. He says, oh, my God, it's God. It's taken care of. It's taken care of. It makes a man of God proud when he sees people do what he do, but don't ask him, can he do it? Don't never pull it out in front of me. I'm always going to beat you because I'm a teacher. You can't change what I'm called to do.
to get the people ready to shift. And don't be afraid of the numbers you have today. There's a new group. And God says that 2016 will be tears of joy. So you will look out and say, God, these are the people you gave me. And they're full of signs and the wonders, as the word of God says. Your season is about to blow up, but it's going to blow up first in you. Take the spirit of the Lord. Nothing. Nothing 
and just saying, what it is, is not enough for what I need. You know, this ain't nothing compared to what I want. God says, get enough to see. Five of y'all need to get a seat for $100. You say, on a Thursday night, when you serve a God, is everything. Let me tell you something, musicians. I, I, I love music. I've been around music all my life before I was a pastor. I ran a very large music ministry. That's all I need is music. Let me tell you something. One of the biggest faults with musicians is that musicians think that the only gift they can give them in the church is their they talent. And that's why when they get old, they are rugged, nothing, have nothing to offer, and full of junk and garbage because they never sold into the kingdom. I come to talk to some of y'all music. musicians. You need to get to you need to soul into the season because this is, listen, I'm in a good season and started as a musician. No, 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 you got to say it. I didn't go to Bible school. He did, I didn't. But I had to learn how to be, watch this, not a musician, but a member. I had to learn how to understand that God expects my worship too. And that's why most musicians in churches are struggling, but look, you good. You can wear the tightest pants you want. You can have the little vests to come down all like that. But if you're listen, if you can't take care of you and your household, then you gotta ask God what curse I'm living in. Be real so you can be delivered. This seed is gonna launch some things. You hear what I just said? This seed tonight. It's going to launch because when you give God a nothing seed, you're telling God there's nothing now above you. God, I, I place you above everything. I need some help in a secret way. Anybody here needs some help in a secret way? You can tell everybody. I need some help in a secret way. This is the breakthrough. From the help in a secret way. I hear the Lord say, this is the breakthrough for a help in a secret way.